Hello, class. Can you hear me? Hello, yes. Yes, teacher. Hi, everybody. How are you? I'm fine, you? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. How was, how is, uh, we're in the middle of the week. How has your week been? It was great. Good, good, okay. Hello, Juan Carlos, how are you? Hello, teacher, I'm fine. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm tired. A lot of work, but I, I do, I do. Yeah, there's always a lot of work to do, right? But um, yeah, that's that's good. The good thing is that if there's lots of work to do, we we'll, we'll, we keep busy, right? That's the important thing. Okay. Well, let me say hi to everybody else. Uh, okay, we have. Um, Let's see, uh, we have, um, let's see, who else? Oh, Glenda. Hello, Glenda. How are you? Hello. Hello, I'm fine. Thank you. What about you? Not too bad, not too bad. Um, yeah, we're just um, finishing the middle of the week, right? So I'm excited about that. We're in the middle of the week. <laughs> Okay, great. Sorry? Nice to see you. <laughs> oh, yeah, thank you. Nice to see you. Yes, okay, great. We're getting more people. More people are connected. Okay, good, good. Um, hello, Abby. Hello, good night. Good evening, Navi. Yes, good to see you. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Not bad. Not bad at all. Yes, good. Thank you for asking. Okay. And let me see. Um, hi, hi, Pablo. How are you? Hi. How are you doing? My day was very well. Good, I'm happy to hear that. Yes. Okay, and let me see who else I haven't said hi to. Norris, hello Norris. Hello teacher. How are you? Good, a little bit, but what about you? I'm doing good. I'm good, doing good. Yeah. Great. Thank you for asking. Okay. Let me say hi to Nancy. How are you, Nancy? Great, teacher. And you? Good. Thank you. Not too bad myself. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm happy to, to have you in the class. Okay. Let me say hi to Patricia. How are you, Patricia? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Okay, good. Um, and let me say hi to, let's see who I haven't said hi to. Uh, Golofredo. I haven't said hi to Golofredo. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And you? Good, good, not too bad, not too bad at all. Yes, okay, good to see Thank you. you. Um, and let me say hi to uh, Esther. I think I haven't said hi to Esther. Good night, teacher. Good evening, Esther, how are you? I'm 
fun. Thank you. Good, good, good. Yes, I'm happy to be with you guys. Okay, hi, Flor. Flor, can you hear me? Oh, maybe she's having problems. Okay, well. Okay. Um, let me say hi to Vilma. How are you, Vilma? Hello, teacher. How are you? I found I'm fine and you? Good, good. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to see you connected. Thank how was your week? Uh, so how was your day? How was your day, Vilma? Uh, very good, teacher. Good, I'm happy to hear that. Okay, good. And Sarai, how are you? Hi, teacher. Um, okay, and you? Not bad, not bad at all. Yes. Okay, good. Well, I'm happy to see um, you know, we have uh, the majority of people here. We have a few a few less people than yesterday, but maybe they will connect later. Okay, so anyways, guys, welcome to today's class. Um, and today, um, as I told you, you guys, I, I asked you for homework to complete 10 questions uh, using the simple past and the... Um, and uh, WH question words. Uh, did we all understand how to do that? Is that is, was that pretty clear or it's not very clear how to do it? For me, it's clear, teacher. Yes, everything was clear? Yeah? Okay, good. All right, excellent. And everybody did the homework? Everybody finish doing the the 10 questions yes 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 okay perfect okay so what i'm gonna do then is i'm going to be um dividing you into groups and uh, we're going to be asking the we're going to be asking our the, the 10 questions to our classmates okay so let me divide you guys um let's see okay i'm gonna get you into breakout rooms i'll have four groups okay and you're going to be asking each other these questions now what i want you guys to do is not just limit yourself to answering try to elaborate so to give you an example if your partner asks you um i don't know something like uh, uh when when did you start learning english and you, the person says um oh in 2015 or 2010 then don't just say oh okay next question no, ask more questions like where did you start learning, right? Um, things like that. So it, to get more information from your classmates, that's the idea. Okay, any questions guys that you want to ask before we start? No, no? we're ready. Okay, perfect. All right, we're going to go ahead and make the groups. Um, Okay, let me just make sure that I have. Okay, we are ready. You can go ahead and join your group.
Norris, do you have any questions? <laughs> gallina, tamales, pan, and, and share with my family. And okay. thank God for the 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 life because the the last year was very sad for the coronavirus. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Lord, where were you from? Could you repeat, please? Where were you from? Okay. I was born in San Salvador. Veronica, what was the last series you saw on TV? Um, a movie, um, ¿cómo se llama? Comedia. Comedy. Mm -hmm. Comedy. Okay. Okay. Uh, Pablo, what time do you finish your work? Uh, I finish your work depending. Uh, now is six six p.m. What is your work? I am work in uh, uh, quality control machine. Mm. Okay. Um, es, vamos a ver. Mm, okay. Uh, Verónica, how many books did you read last year? Uh, repeat, repeat. How many books did you read last year? Um, ¿Cuántos libros leyó? Sí, sí, sí eso um, quiero decirle. Okay. Um, a ver, I read two, two um, years, el año pasado. Mm -hmm. How many? Two. Two. How, how many? Uh -huh. I read two. I read two. Okay. Book. Okay. Eh, Corríjame, Jenny. Quiero preguntar una, pero no sé. What time in your dinner? Estará bien. What time? What time did you? What time did you eat? Eat. Uh -huh. Your dinner. Tendría que ser. ¿Cómo? What time? Could you repeat that again? What time in your dinner? No. Okay, remember remember that we're talking about the past. So mm -hmm. we always have to use did. Okay, so ah, okay. what time did, and then mm -hmm. you say the verb. Okay. Entonces sería, what time did you? Um, no, did, did you? you. Mm -hmm. What time did you? Dinner. Uh -huh, but what's the verb? What time did you? What's the verb? It. Right, eat, eat dinner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Correct. What right. time did you eat dinner? 
Good. What time did you eat dinner? Four. Four. Ah, uh, four. No, five, five, five. I don't know. I don't we, know. We are five in this group. Ah, okay. And all the all and the other people. <laughs> and it's, and I. Sarah Martinez. I have a question. What did you do yesterday? What? What? What did you do yesterday? Ah, yesterday. I spend uh, my time with my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Esther Dominguez. I have a question for you. Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Esther. Esther is sleeping. <laughs> Hello, Esther. Now, can you, can't you hear me? No, I think you were muted, but, but yes, we can, we can hear you now. Okay. And a uh, Abby, where did you grow up? Can you repeat, please? Where did you grow up? Where? I don't. I don't understand. Where did you grow up? Grew up. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Yeah, uh, grew is a simple past. But yes. remember, the did is already in the simple past. So we're just going to say grow up, not grew up. Mm -hmm. uh, crecer o algo así. Yes, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. I grew up in San Salvador, Mexicanos. Okay. okay, remember, it's in the past. So I grew up, no, because in the, the I grow up is in the present. Mm -hmm. like, what's the past of grow up? Grew. Correct. So what do you say? I? I grew up in San Salvador, Mexicanos. Perfect. Okay. In Saray Martinez. Yes. Uh, where did you spend last Christmas? Um, I spent my last Christmas in my house in Samobi with my family. <laughs> and Patricia Campos. Uh, where do Hi. you where do you go on vacation? What? Uh, I don't I don't listen the last word. Repeat please. Where, okay. Where did you go on vacation? On vacation. I went I went to the beach with my friend and my boyfriend. <laughs> nice. And you? What uh, what did what did you do? Well, I went to a party with my family. I visit a uh, river in Rio. No, no, estoy segura si se, así se pronuncia. River. 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 With my my um cousin. Cousin, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Vilma. Only that. Only that, okay. And you, Godofredo, where did you visit last week? weekend? Last weekend. I went the mountain. Oh, Perkin. Okay. Hey. <laughs> um, it's nice. It's nice play. And the beach, La Unión. 
Okay, okay. Very, very far. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you, Godofredo. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, why did you study on this training, Godofredo? Why? Tra training. This training, yes. Why did you study on this training? Oh. <laughs> what do you study? Why? Porque Why? estoy... Uh, Ajá, en esta, en esta capacitación. Ah, okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh -huh. Because I like uh, English and my person is very important. I like. En sí solo es personal. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, okay. Personal for improve. Personal improve. Let's see, when my person is, I like read, I like uh, English, Italian. I love your language. Ah, language. Different language. Yeah. Ah, okay. French. Italian. French. Un poco, este, ¿cómo es? Este. A little. Este, little, yeah. A little. Ok, ok. Eh, who did you, who did you send masses today? Who, quién? Mensajes, ¿quién te envió mensajes el día de hoy? Who did you send messages today? Who, who did you send messages to today? Okay, yes. ¿A, a quién mandaste mensajes? Y, yes. So you have to add, you have to say, who did you send messages to? So uh, you have to add the word to. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Who did you send message to Roxana? Uh, I sent message to my co-worker. Sí, we need practice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did Juan Carlos did you write a letter of a, a, Sorry, I, of a I song? Sorry. Papa. Did you did you write a, a letter of a song? I don't understand. Eh, si has escrito alguna letra para alguna canción. Ah no. No sé cómo se dice poeta. No, I, I, I'm not a poet. <laughs> I am not a poet. Let us do, no. Maybe he doesn't have inspiration to create the sun. <laughs> I don't have creativity. Do you play a uh, guitar or something like that? No, I no. just play football. Uh, uh, Not an instrument. Mm -hmm. No, no. Uh, ah, okay. My fingers are... <laughs> are <laughs> how do you say uh, my fingers are metal? <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. All my life is was um, all my life uh, was a uh, study study work. Uh, I never have time to to practice. 
Pisces, eh, Guitar, eh, o, o, o similar eh, instrumento. Because you were busy. Porque estuviste ocupado. Yes, yes. Always uh, I was, I was uh, in work and studying. Ah, uh, good. In the, in the morning study, in the afternoon I work. Always, always. Where do you work? Huh? Where do you work? I I work in pintura, albañil, different different things. Okay. Eh, dice varias prácticamente puede hacer. Uh -huh. sí, yes. mm. Linda. I'm a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm preschool teacher. Oh, Linda, uh -huh. why do you yes. why do you buy this shirt? Why do why? you buy comprar? Why do you buy this shirt? This when when sorry sorry when, when cuando yes when no this this buy? is a this is a present mm -hmm. oh. madrina how do you say madrina <laughs> for your birthday <laughs> no 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 madrina 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 good Good algo se dice madrina, no me acuerdo. Godmother. Como good, good parents son los padrinos, ¿verdad? God mother. Uh, good mother. Good mother. Ah, gracias. Good. No sé good si me no. dijo Kelly o si me dijo Norris, I don't know. Thank you. No, it's not good. It's God. God mother. God like de Dios. Okay, God, Thank mother. you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's a teacher. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> You're welcome. Everybody, where did you dance uh, when you study in high school? We're finished. Yeah, we're gonna we're calling everybody back. Hi. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hi, You're welcome. You're welcome. Hi. Hi everybody. Okay, great. I think we I have come back. Hi. Again. We come back again. Yes, I think I have everybody. Okay. All right. Um, just I'm just gonna ask everybody to do me a favor. Make sure your microphones are turned off so that um we don't have any feedback um and um and, and that uh what's it called and, and everybody can hear me perfectly 
Okay, so what we're gonna do right now, um, okay, so by the way, so everybody had uh, opportunity, right, to ask questions, to answer questions. Um, remember that if this is, um, the idea is to not just ask the question, but also have the opportunity of answering, right? And you have to make sure you answer um, in the simple past, right? So if somebody asks you something, a question like, what did, um, I don't know, something like, uh, what did you, um, I don't know, why, why did you start learning English? Why did you start learning English? And you cannot say, I, I, um, I, I, I study English because I like it, right? We can't say like that because in, because the question is, why did you study English? So this is in the past, right? And you say, I like English, that's in the present. So make sure that we, if we ask a question in English, you have to answer in English. Sorry, sorry. If you, <laughs> let me start again. Um, if you, if you ask a question in the simple past, you have to answer in the simple past, okay? So just be careful about that. Okay, so we're going to now um, learn another structure. I know you guys already, um, we looked at um, the simple past verbs uh, in the affirmative, the negative, um, the questions, answers. Uh, we've seen the difference between uh, the verb to be and all the other verbs. Um, in, we've seen um, information questions with WH questions, etc., etc. Now we're going to be learn today we're going to be learning something different. This is going to be something um, that we're going to be learning about uh, a structure. It's still about the simple past, but this is something that has to do with um, a, what's it called? Um, with past habits. Okay, so these are habits that were of the past. So I'm going to put on the uh, whiteboard. And please tell me if you can see it. Let me know if you can see the whiteboard. <laughs> you can't see the whiteboard the whiteboard yet? Yes. Yes. Yes, I can see. Okay, perfect. Okay, great. In that case, we're going to start and I'm going to talk about um, used to. Okay. By the way, guys, just a reminder, um, if you could make sure the microphones are turned off um, so that everybody can can listen perfectly with no, no interruption. Um, you can open it up if you want. If you have a question, you can go ahead and open up the microphone. Just make sure that when you're finished, you close the microphone again. That's it. Okay? So we're going to be talking about <clears throat> the structure used to. Okay? Um, used to is, is in the past. If you notice, um, use is a verb. It's a regular verb. And that's why in the past we use D. Right? Just D, not ED, because... Um, the the verb is just used, right? So if we can't just say ed because then it would be like that. So we just add the d, simple as that. Now, why do we use used to? We use this for past habits. Okay, past habits. So these are things that in the past you did, but in the present you don't do anymore. Okay, is that clear for everybody? Yes, it's clear. Yes, the show is clear. Perfect. Okay. Yes, the show. All right, great. So, um, so basically, the the beauty about used to is that um, it doesn't matter what the subject is; it's always going to be the same. Used to. Okay. So. It's going to work like this. Example. Um, let me write some sentences down so you can see the examples. Um, I used to 
ride my bike to school. Well, I'm no longer studying at school, so I can't do this anymore, okay? I can't do it. I can't ride my bike to school because I'm not in school anymore. But this was something, um, this was something that was a habit of the past, okay? We can also say, for example, we used to, um, we used to go out for dinner every Sunday before the pandemic. Actually, I'm gonna, okay. So, you know, our lives were very different before the pandemic, right? Okay, so we say we used to go out for dinner every Sunday before the pandemic, okay? Um, we can say, um, she used to uh, date him. Do, do you guys understand what I mean by date? Do you understand the verb date? Zika? Yes, yes, ex um, yeah. So to date someone means to go out romantically with somebody. That's what it means to date. So if I say she used to date him, it means that she was romantically involved with him. So it's basically she was his girlfriend, right? Okay, so all of these are past habits, but that no longer are true. Okay, so if you notice, oh, just give me a second. Hold on, give me one moment here. I'm gonna put it here. Okay, so how do we form the? How do we form the um, the structure? Well, if you notice, um, okay, so we always say used to, okay, so I used to, we used to, okay, um, she used to, okay, um, so if you notice, independent of the subject, uh, whether it's I, you, he, we, she, it, we, sorry, I, you, he, she, it, we, they, it's always going to be used to, okay, all the time. And after used to, we're going to be using the verb. And the verb has to be in the original form, so the basic form, okay. We used to, sorry, I used to ride. We used to go. She used to date. Okay, so the verb is in the basic form. It's not she used to date him. No, it's not dates with an S. So it's on the simple present. Okay, don't don't confuse it. It's the basic form. Okay, and um, let's see, and then of course we're going to be using. The complement, right? Okay, the rest of the sentence there. Okay. All right. Sounds good? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so, um, now, we can also make sentences in the negative. These are all sentences of affirmative. But if I make sentences of the negative, it would look something like this. Um, you didn't used to, um, you didn't used to uh, exercise before. 
you didn't use to exercise before. Or, um, for example, they, you, so, oh, my mistake, my mistake, guys. Sorry. They didn't use to um, drive an expensive car. Or he didn't, oh, sorry. He didn't used to, um, oh, sorry, used to, um, he didn't used to, um, worry so much. Okay, so here, as you notice, we're using the negative, so the, all of these are the affirmatives, right? Okay, and this one would be negative. So if you notice in the negative, um, what's going to happen, basically the difference that's going to happen with the negative is that instead of, um, hold on, just give me a minute here, okay, so we're going to say, didn't, didn't, the Republicans didn't or did not, right? You can also, uh, this is abbreviated, right? But the uh, the complete form is did not, so it's, that's also possible. And, uh, hey. Teacher, I have a question. When we use didn't, the verb use uh, don't have D, only use no using correct yes exactly that's what exactly what i was going to explain next. You omit the. exactly yes um so uh, okay. something that you you have to be careful with is precisely that right um that when we're talking about the the negative um in the negative we're not going to be using um, used to. Uh, now, can somebody explain to me why? Can you tell me why we would not use um, the D at the end? Because you are using didn't, the auxiliary didn't. Exactly. Because didn't is already in the past. And I mentioned this before, I mentioned this yesterday, I think it was, that in, Eng in English, we cannot have a double of something. So we can't have double, double simple past, let's say, okay? So here we use the D because this is the only verb, right? But in this case, we have an auxiliary. So the auxiliary is already in the past. That's why we're not going to use um, the D in the use. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Excellent. So be careful with that. In the negative, it, you don't use use. It's you, no, sorry, you don't say used to. It, you would say used to. So it's you didn't use to okay and then of course we continue using the basic form of the verb which in this case is exercise drive worry okay oh and then of course we have the complement right okay and the complement would be this case before although it's not necessary right we could just say you you didn't use to exercise um and that would be okay so it's it's the complement is not a, a um it's not required but it, you can use it if you want okay so if you notice the rule applies to er to everything independent of the subject okay so if we're going to write it up here what is the structure well, the structure is going to be 
We're going to start with the subject. What goes next? Plus used to. <laughs> right, very good. Plus sim, uh, sim, uh, bear, um, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Mas plus verb, mas, mas verb, base form. Base form. Very, very good. Plus the verb in the base form. And complement. Um, plus complement. Perfect, exactly, okay. So that's gonna be our structure here. So subject plus used to plus uh, base verb plus complement. Now, be careful though, because if it's negative, in that case, it's going to be subject plus. Didn't use, didn't use to. The auxiliary didn't. Right, there you go. Okay, so subject plus used to or didn't used to plus the base verb plus the complement. So the base verb is going to be independent if it's negative or positive, it's always going to be the same. Okay. Um, now, when, let's see, hold on, just give me one moment. Um, Give me one second. Okay. Um, okay, so basically this is the structure, okay? So that's what you gotta remember, okay? So, okay, so that's with affirmative and negative. But what about questions? What about questions? Okay, so let's talk about questions. Questions will be very simple. Um, it's the same idea, you guys. You you know that uh, for the um, for the simple past, what? How do we start questions with a simple past? Did. Exactly. So we're gonna start with did. did. Change that. Did. Use. Okay, now in the questions, we are not going to use negative. Okay, it's not never going to be negative. So we're just going to say, Did, for example, did um, did you um, use to? Plus, baseball, play. Basketball or soccer? For example, did you used to play soccer? Sorry, did you used to play soccer on the school team? And because it's a question, we're going to put the question word. Okay. Or we can ask, for example, did um, did we um, used to um, did we used to uh, let me think let me think did we used to go uh, to the beach for the falta de higiene um do we used to go to the beach uh, every summer. Example. Did you used to go to the beach every summer? So over here, in that case, uh, we are going to be using, um, okay, so we're always going to start with did, okay? Always, it's, it's independent, it's always going to be independent of the subject or anything. It's we're always going to start with did. Let me just give me a moment here. Okay. So did. Okay. All right. And 
and um, again like I mentioned before we are not going to be using used to because we already used it right so it's going to be used to okay all right and um, yeah the subject is always it, the subject is independent where um, it doesn't really matter what uh, what the subject uh, what the subject is it's always going to be the same story and like this one we say did you used to used to play not uh, not did you used to played right or did you used to go sorry did we used to go okay etc etc okay um so <clears throat> after seeing this can you guys tell me what the structure for the questions are Plus, did you use? Plus, used to? Is, is did plus subject plus used to plus bear in the present plus okay. complement? Good. Okay, there you go. That would be the, the, the structure. Um, okay, so let's see. Um, okay, so this is going to be the structure. Oh, sorry, I forgot to. And a very, very important thing when you're asking questions, we should always add the question, uh, the question yeah exactly yeah i forgot about that don't do that mistake <laughs> you have to remember it okay just give me a second Teacher. Yeah. And the answer for the for the first question uh, maybe uh, seria. <laughs> uh, I didn't used to play soccer uh, on the school team. Right, we're going to be looking at right now at um, at the answers. Okay, so these are the questions. Now, how would you answer? Uh, very simple. Um, you well, you would you can answer full form, right? For for example, did you used to play soccer on the school team? Yes. Um, uh, or yes, I used to play um, uh, for the. Uh, so yes, I, or no, no, I was, I didn't used to play soccer on the school team. I was only the school mascot, for example. Um, or uh, did you used to play soccer on the school team? Um, yes, I did. I played, um, or better said, yes, I played for four years. I played for four years, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, now, uh, but if we're going to be making a short answer, we're just going to, the answers are going to be sticking with the, just like short answers normally have the auxiliary, right? So you would ask the question, did, did, a, for example, did you go, um, did you work, um, did you work it as a nurse? 
answer? Yes, I did. No, I didn't, right? So the same thing would happen here. Because we're using the auxiliary did, we would do the same thing. So here we would say, okay, did, did you used to play soccer, play soccer on the school team? The answer would be, yes, I did. Or, no, I, sorry, no, I didn't. Simple as that. So it's going to be the same as any question that uh, you would be answering about the simple pass. Okay? Okay, the same thing here. Did we go, did we used to go to the beach every summer? Answer, yes, we did. Sorry. Yes, we did. Or, no, we, no, we didn't. Or, no, we did not. Normally, we, we say completely we should say it short no we didn't okay so that's going to be the start so it's going to be exactly the same as any other question is that pretty clear for everybody or do you guys have any questions about that i don't have questions there are no questions no question teacher it's okay, so just basically the important thing for this, like I said before, is um, that, oops, let me, oh, no, 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 Sorry, guys, I made a mistake. Okay, so um, the important thing here is basically remembering that we're going to be answering with the auxiliary, the same auxiliary. So in this case, um, the auxiliary we're using is did or negative didn't. Okay, so it's always going to be the same, independent of the subject, did or didn't. Okay. Okay, so any questions that you guys have? Anything you want to ask before we I, I put this away? And I uh, anything? Not teacher for me. I don't have any question. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. In that case, um, since it's pretty, sounds to be, it sounds to me like it's pretty clear for everybody, or at least that's what it looks like. Um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna, um, I'm going to be assigning you the homework that I want you to do. And for homework, I would like you to um, think about um, some of the what, what was. What kind of things did you do um, when you were a child, right? Or what was life like when you were a child? What things um, were habits that you had as a child, and what things you so better said what things you used to do when you were a child compared to things that you don't do now, and the opposite. What did you use? What did you not used to do before that you do now? Okay, so maybe when you were a child, you didn't eat healthy. So you can say, um, when I was a child, I didn't used to eat healthy, but now I try to eat healthy. Example, right? Okay. Or when I was a child, I used to um, play with, with, um, I don't know, with mud. You guys know mud? Mud, M-U-N, uh, sorry, M-U-D? Lodo. Exactly, lodo. Okay, so I used to play with mud, right? Yo solía, solía eh, jugar con lodo. But obviously now you don't. <laughs> All right, or I, or hopefully you don't. <laughs> okay, so anyways, um, so I want you to write, um, think about the things. I want you to write five sentences of things that you used to do before. Uh, as a child and five sentences of things that you don't do 
and five questions that you would like to ask your classmates. Okay? Is that clear for everybody? So five of each. Five things you did do or that you did used to do, five things that you didn't used to do, and five questions for your classmate. Sounds good? Okay, teacher. Yeah, Could you chart the homeworks always, every day, always on the chat? I will try to do my best. Yes, I will try to do my best. If some, if I don't, just remind me, okay? And I will try to put it as fast as I can, okay? Okay, guys, it's Thank been you. a pleasure seeing you again. Take care, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Bye. Okay, bye. Have a good day. Goodbye, Bye. teacher. Goodbye. Bye, teacher. Thank you. See you. Thanks, Farrell.